well, uh, I guess that question is being put to a wrong person. But, uh, you know, there's always conspiracy of circumstances. You know, uh, 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 so circumstances conspire when the, the su subject itself is ripe. Yeah. Uh, and that's what actually has happened, that this conspiracy of circumstances. But I was in the school for Saibu, the village, and the same with Kiswaili. I come to Nataka, wa Kenya, wote, kila mahali, wali wafasi wa azimio, wafasi wa baba, na mama, na kalonzo, na umalwa, na paranya, na wajakoya, na uh, uh, wairia, na ndomitu mwuri wote, na wale mwuri wa mwuriwa, ata wale wa Kenya kwanza, ambaye wanataka mabadiliko, po wanaumia, ni nyote mwaliku wa kesho, Nataka ujumuiki kesho, muonyeshe, ulimungu mzima, ya kuamba punda imechoka. Last one. Yes, uh, Apollo TV 47. You've said uh, you don't expect Kenya Kwanza to understand the issue of signatures. But they're also criticizing, uh, saying, what's the end game of the collection of these signatures? What's your reply to them? Okay. You see... No, 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 because they themselves are saying what the Constitution provides. They are forgetting about Article 1 of the Constitution. But that Article 1 is very, very clear. It says that the sovereignty in the Republic of Kenya is invested in the people of Kenya. We can exercise it directly or through delegated authority to those whom they have elected. Okay? So when they now go ahead and tell you what the constitution provides as to how to change the government, that is under the delegated authority. But they don't look at that power being exercised directly by the people. It has not been done before. So then let me just wait and see. <laughs> let me wait and see where we are going to end. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.